Hello friends, today in this session uh, we are going to learn about uh, what is 3M and how this is going to help uh, any organization in uh, removing all unnecessary activities, waste from the systems and how to enhance the productivity and efficiency of the process. So what is 3M? Let's learn about it. 3M comprises of three words which starts with M. These are Japanese ways of waste identification, waste elimination and processing. The first M is Muda which means waste. So the goal of uh, Muda in any of the process is to remove waste from the system. The second M is Mura which means uh, imbalance or inconsistencies in the processes. This basically leads to making process imbalance which will lead to inefficient uh, process. And third M is uh, Muri which means stress or strain to all people working in the organizations or to equipments and machineries. Let's learn about uh, these three M's in little bit of details. The first M is Muda. Muda means waste. So waste basically refers to any kind of activities which doesn't add value. And when we talk about value, value means anything for which the customer is willing to pay. That means for any of the activities the, uh, the customer is not willing to pay, that's not value for us. So ideally in any of the organization we should be working on enhancing all value added activity and eliminating non value adding activity. So when there are non value adding activity in the process or waste this only adds to time and cost. Now as we have discussed that uh, there are activities uh, in the processes we do in any of the organizations. So the activities can be divided into two types. Either it would be a value added activities or it would be non value added activities. In any of the typical organization, non value added activity contributes to more than 95% of the activities and value added activities only contributes around 5%. Now these non value added activities can be further divided into two types which is type 1 and type 2 muda. So muda means waste. Now type 1 muda is necessary non value added activities. Now these waste are basically of 7 types. These are also called 7 deadly waste. Or to remember this waste, there is an acronym. There are in fact many acronyms available. One of the acronym which I use is team boot. Now this team boot stands for transportation, inventory, motion, waiting, over production, over processing and defects. So all these 7 defects or muda comprises of the seven deadly waste. To learn about the seven deadly waste in detail, you can visit my other video on Kaizen. I put the link of that video in my description. You can click and uh, go to that video to understand about uh, muda and uh, Kaizen in detail. Now this muda can be divided into three types. Either it has to be people muda or quality muda or quantity muda. So you can see over here in people muda there are basically three types of muda or waste over processing motion and waiting whereas in quantity muda it is inventory over production or transportation whereas in quality muda defects so defects means either it, it can be rework repair or rejection Now the second kind of improvement area in 3M is Mura. So Mura means basically imbalance. So imbalance or inconsistencies in the process are called Mura. Now the reasons of imbalance or Mura can be various. Couple of them are mentioned over here for your understanding like improper work distribution to people or to machineries. If there is improper work distribution, it leads to Mura. If there is variation in cycle time, if there are many manufacturing process, if there are many manufacturing steps or uh, uh, pro uh, service steps and there is uh, cycle differences in all the process steps, then it will lead to inconsistencies. If the unorganized work is there, then it would also lead to inconsistencies. For an example, you can see over here, it is an example of a manufacturing process in a typical car manufacturing industry or automotive industry you can see over here the tag time is 80 second tag time is basically the demand time from the customers it means in 80 seconds one part should be manufactured 
So you can see over here in the first process the cycle time is 60 seconds the second process the cycle time is 100 second and third process cycle time is again 60 second and the fourth process again goes to 100 second so when the cycle time is 60 seconds the process is relaxed whereas in this next station the cycle time is 100 second so the first process stage is relaxed whereas the second process stage is busy so it leads to inconsistencies so in terms of uh, human aspect, it leads to higher workload in some area and in equipment aspect, it also leads to improper utilization of equipment. So the impact of inconsistencies or imbalance is variation in quality. It leads to imbalance or unbalanced capacities, wasteful, unreasonable equipment utilization. Third M is Muri, which means human or equipment stress or strain the reasons of muri could be many like repetitive tiring actions if there is a wasteful work it would also lead to stress unorganized workplace also lead to unnecessary motion of people in the example over here you can see tag time is 80 second whereas the cycle time of the process is 100 second so the process stage would not be able to meet the customer demand and it would lead to stress or overburden. So Muri in human aspect leads to unsafe operations whereas Muri in equipment aspects it leads to equipment breakdown and quality drop. Let's now understand what are the impacts of Muri. There are many impacts of Muri. Strain due to poor design, increased workload due to non-availability of people and running machines beyond its designed capacities. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel, share it and like it.